What's up, y'all? It's me, Kari J, once again. And guess what? Today I am doing a mukbang on. Oh, it was upside down, but y'all get it. Y'all know what this is. Carol's chicken. And I will be letting you guys know I'm going to be reviewing Netflix movies while I eat or until I'm finished eating. All the movies that I've seen so far and all the movies that I will probably never see because it just doesn't look interesting and yeah so let me pull it out for y'all let me pull it out pull it out I kind of already opened it because I needed to get a fry out of it y'all know how that be right so yeah I got a pop and a water just because Sometimes a nigga just needs something flavorful and you need water all the time. So you feel me? Let me get some of this real quick. Then I get started. Hold on, hold on. Woo, that was good already. Okay. So let's just go down the list of movies. Pineapple Express. Everybody knows that that is the shit. What movies? What other movies? Oh. Okay. So, Mike X. Only one Mike. That's supposed to be like a stand-up series or whatever. It was, um... It was okay. I mean, I support everybody black, so... Of course I watched it, but I had to watch it a few times. But it was like, okay, funny, I guess. Blown away. Y'all might not think that's interesting, but they like making shit out of glass and shit. Like, that's some crazy shit. Like, when I say y'all should watch that, y'all should watch that because they make er all kind of shit. Like, they raw as hell. Artists are so cool. Now, let's talk about The Hunting of the Hills House. This was a TV series with about 10 episodes, hour long episodes, G. And when I say that shit was crazy, like crazy, crazy, like, had me not want to go to the bathroom. Because I was watching it up here and shit, he had to come back there with me, like, oh, baby, come back there with me and cut the light on. I don't want nothing coming out of me. That was good as fuck, though. It was good. Thumbs up to the hang of the heels. The Hunting of Hill House. Y'all yeah, know what I mean. The picture like right there and shit. I'm thinking about putting pictures up. If I don't put pictures up, then y'all know I changed my mind. What else? What else did I watch? Oh. Queen of the South. I don't... I didn't watch season three. But I did watch season one and season two. And... I think that is a great show. I was like binge watching it at work one day. And I could not stop watching it. Like, Teresa, a beast. Go watch that shit, y'all. Everybody be on Twitter talking about poise. I haven't watched that shit yet. So, leave me some comments below. Convince me to watch it because I'm far from interested. Let's see what's on my list. Ah, The Hateful Eight. That was a really cool movie. I didn't watch it on Netflix. I watched it when it like first came out and shit back in 2015. But that's a really good movie. I'm not too sure why they got it as a a trailer, but I mean not a trailer, but a thriller, horror kind of movie because it ain't shit about this movie scary. But what else? The Punisher, that was mediocre. I give it about on a scale of 1 to 10. What would I give it? Um, Maybe like a 7. It was, I guess it's worth watching then if it's a 7. What else? What else? <laughs> we just watched The Rim of the World the other day. It's about these little ass kids going to like a camp and then it was like an alien invasion and shit in California. Like, it was like some whole other shit, but 
it makes you keep watching it. It's definitely not the best movie. But whatever. Watch it. Support the kids, y'all. Support the kids. <laughs> I ain't know what that line between love and hate was on here. I'm gonna have to watch that. That was my shit. Oh, Super Spider Man. Black Spider Man. Oh, I really like that a lot. I really, 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 really enjoyed that. It's like a cartoon. It's like five different Spider Mans come. That was great. That was great. Oh, yeah. What? Oh. I ain't gonna say nothing. Yep. I ain't gonna say nothing about Kevin Hart because I like Kevin Hart. That's my homie. What a movie's that? What the fuck is all this shit? I guess they just added a hell of new shit on here. And all this shit, I do not plan on watching. I am straight on that. This shit do not even look good by the cover. Oh, I'm dropping chicken all over the fucking place. Seven seconds. That was incredible. I kind of wish it was like several seasons of that shit. That was amazing. Regina, she killed that shit. Well, I'm just a new black. Yeah, I know. That shit raw. No need to talk more about that. Actually, I don't even think I watched episode, I mean, season three. But... What the fuck? Whatever. Stranger Things, of course, that's the shit, like I said. I started watching episode season three, but then Boo wanted to say, Oh, you didn't think y'all wanted to watch it with you? And then I started watching it on some crybaby shit. And now, we haven't yet to start watching it because he's on like episode one of season one and shit. And I'm like, um, homie, I'm gonna need you to watch that shit by yourself. But, <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. I may watch it again. Stranger Things is really, really good. Uh, they got that 70 show on this motherfucker. I didn't even know that. <laughs> that was my set. I used to watch that. I still watch. Do that shit even come on TV still? I don't even know. Let me see. What else though? Continue watching. Oh, the next guest with David Letterman with Kanye West. That was raw. That was a good ass episode. The one with Jay Z was great too. But just watch that shit. The next guest of David. The next. The next guest needs no introduction with David Letterman. It's a Netflix series, and I really like that. Of course, all the vision movies. I'm gonna go ten for ten for all of those all the time. I mean, I don't know about that because then you got Jessica Jones and shit, shit like that. Or what's that new nigga name? Luke Cage. He was like a six. Well, I see you. Mm, 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 mm. I'm probably never going to watch this new series called Family Reunion. I'm definitely straight on that. I mean, that might be decent with Tamara. T is that Tia or is that Tamara? Um, t ooh, I can't tell. Is that Tia or is that Tamara? I think it's Tia. I hope so. But yeah, y'all know I'm coming out. I look like it's kind of funny though. But not no time soon will I be watching that. Hmm. What else? Where are the movies at? I don't know none of this shit. What's on the block? I may have to watch that. Oh shit. I think his name Aziz Ansari. His new Netflix series is like stand up. It's called Right Now. It's a stand up series. 
Well, it's not a series, but it's like a special. I really enjoyed that shit. That that shit was hilarious. Like he talking about R. Kelly. He was talking about racist people. Like he's funny as hell. Chinese people, like all kinds of shit. Like well, go watch that. Like no bullshit. Like that shit funny. Like if you like The Office, you like that. But then again, I don't know because I do not like The Office. Like I don't know how y'all think that shit is funny. I just be watching that shit like. No. Kind of like Bob's Burger. I didn't think that shit was funny neither. Let's go to the categories. Because Neff is playing, playing with my emotions. Oh no. It put Hateful Eight as a crime movie. Why did I think that was a... It said thriller. Ignore me, y'all. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I watched Weeds. That was pretty good. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Cheers. Y'all remember that shit? That TV show Cheers? I used to watch that sometime. I think it came on late as hell. 1992. Mm. <laughs> I watched California Kitchen years ago. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rewatch that shit. California Kitchen. Somebody remind me to watch that shit later. I'm full, y'all, already. That's crazy. This is the only thing I ate today, and I'm full. I still got three more wings to go. What the fuck is all of this? They got all this weak ass shit on here, too. Terrible, 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 terrible. Next. Nope, nope. Didn't watch that. Didn't watch that. Y'all watch the blacklist? Somebody comment under here. Let me know what that shit like. I've been thinking about watching it, but I don't want to be blown. New girl, that that's my shit. I was watching that when that came on TV. It's like corny, funny, like it's hilarious to me. I watch that shit religiously. Fuller House. Nope. Didn't even consider watching that shit. Like, some shit just don't need a remake. You know what I'm saying? It just don't need a remake. Like, shit like that. I'm hot. What is this shit? He be having some weird shit on his thing, too. Like, what the fuck you be watching? I don't be knowing. Oh, Dave Chappelle shit was hilarious. That, that Bird Revolution shit, Revelation shit. That was hilarious too. Make sure y'all watch that. No, I don't want to talk about TV shows. Taco Chronicles, damn. I'm gonna have to watch that shit. I ain't got no kind of napkin. I'm just out here, both. Move it. Okay, for real. Uh oh. Now they finna show me some shit. Finally, give me some good stuff. What the hell? Black Panther. Thumbs up. Yeah. The something great. That looks interesting. Oh, the guy from Atlanta. Y'all know Charles Gambino TV show Atlanta. I wish that was on Netflix now that I think about it. But, um, there's this guy on this movie called Someone Great. 
You don't even say his name. But I would like, really enjoy seeing him in other movies and other things. The movie called Something Great. I don't have to watch that just because he in it. I don't know where all the good movies at. All the good shit. They showing all this weirdo looking shit that I know I would never watch. Incredibles 2. That was good. <laughs> Little Jack Jack Crash was hilarious. Now, one movie that I know I could not get into. Everybody says it's so great. Watch this movie on Netflix. It's so great. It teaches you so much. Please don't get me started. I'll try to watch this Coco movie like 1,700 times. And nope. Just did not do it for me. I could not get through it. I probably cut it off at the same exact spot every single time because, nope, I ain't gonna say it's trash, but it kind of is. Bonnie and Clyde from 1967. <laughs> that was a good-ass movie. Y'all should watch that. Beats. That new movie Beats that just came out. I'm going for everybody black, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. It's not the best, but a crazy lady from Orange is the New Black in it. I thought that was kind of cool. Besides that, um, um, it ended kind of like, oh. Besides that, I just... I ain't got no comment. That's that's pretty much it. I was just like, oh. It just, it didn't leave me in awe. Like, oh. I was just like, oh. That's it. This is now saucy as fuck. Alice doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> Do I look like I watched some shows like that? Pulp Fiction. My first time ever watching that was like a few months ago. Maybe a little bit last year. He had me watch it all the fucking Quentin Tarantino. Tarantino. Whatever the hell his last name is. The writer. Quentin Tarantino. Tino. He a good ass writer. And I never seen most majority of his movies. So we was like binge watching in the chat. And we watched this. And I thought it was really, really interesting. Samuel Jackson, rich as fuck. Uh, we watched that movie on Black Panthers. Like, not the Black Panther superhero movie, but like the Black Panthers and shit. I think everybody should watch that for sure. All the documentaries on here. Make sure y'all watch. Death at the front row. Uh, where's the money? Nope. Don't plan on watching that. That old boy's Miss Grandma. Hell of shit, though. Rick. Uh, what is that show? I can't even think about the name of the show. But well, he's hilarious. Probably not gonna watch that neither though. Probably in the Chocolate Factory. Boy, bye. Mm. The Long Shot. Definitely didn't watch that neither. That came out with 2008 Kiki Palmer on the football team. Nope, not interested. Despicable Me 3. I plan on watching that. Hotel Transylvania 3. Did I watch that? I know I watched one and I watched two and I loved them. I'm not too sure if I watched three, but 
It's probably dope. I'm gonna just watch it again just because I may not ever watch that. <laughs> high school. Mac and Damon go to Devin. Go to high school. Of course, that is great. Look at my ass, young ass. Snoop, Uncle Snoop. <laughs> I remember when that shit first came out. The hype was so real. The Dark Knight. Of course. How could you not like Batman and the Joker? Especially the Joker. Moonlight was incredible. Oh, Chris Brown got a movie on him. I did not know that. Welcome to my life, Chris Brown. Did I watch that? Um, I think he was talking about his trauma when his mama was getting beat. Oh yeah, I did watch that. That was good. Information that a lot of people don't know about Chris Brown. I should really watch it because people kill me. I hate when people be doing him wrong. Let him live. Can he be great? The Carter effect. We just watched that the other day. I already did a review on Kevin Hart's Black History. Guide to Black History. Run. Like, run, like, really, really fast. party i actually enjoyed that shit they came out last year when this guy was trying to be an mc and shit everybody was in it with khalifa french montana push the t dj Khaled, all these people this guy he was trying to be an mc and the old boy from new girl who was like his assistant or some shit like that who knows anyway he was a cool ass rapper but he was like a dork and shit I can't describe movies, y'all suck at that. But go watch that shit. It's called The After Party. It's kind of actually kind of cool. I really like that movie. It's only an hour and a half long, so why not, right? What the fuck else you got to do? Y'all, I'm so cool. Batman Begins. Damn, I'm gonna have to watch that shit. I ain't watched this in a minute. I'm in when Obsessed came out. Take it now. Now, the Fighting Temptation used to be my shit. It's not on, that's not on here, but I was listening to Beyonce. The Fighting Temptation is hilarious. I love that movie. That fuck around to be one of my favorite movies. Top, top 10. I ain't gonna say top 5 because I'm gonna be lying, but top 10. Maybe 15. Founder of McDonald's. Man, fuck McDonald's. I had a boot. These stupid ass people gave me a boot outside of fucking McDonald's. I don't even eat fucking McDonald's. What the fuck? But. Let me stop. Let me stop being mad. That was like two weeks ago. Shit, that was still recent. True to the game. What the hell is this? Nope. Don't plan on watching it. Oh, nigga, this kid used to be my favorite actor. Him and Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker is a shit. He is the fucking truth. They both the truth. Did I watch Next, though? I'm gonna have to watch Next if I haven't watched Next. Y'all know what else is good movies? Focus. Will Smith. That's a great movie. My 
Miami Vice. Miami Vice or Bad Boys. Can you, is that a comparison? Is it the same? Mm, no. Well, I don't know. Jamie Foxx. And is it with Colin Farrell? And yeah, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. What y'all think? I ain't got no chicken. What the fuck? I can't eat all these fries. I'm so full. I ain't even never seen Miami Vice before, so I can't even rate it for y'all. I don't even know. It's like, look like it's like Bad Boy. Oh! Cartoons! The Emoji Movie. Loved it. Madagascar. Still my favorite cartoon in the whole entire world. Boat. Uh, the B movie. Uh, what's that movie? Oh, Trolls. That's my. Oh, I love Trolls. I could watch Trolls all day, like literally, like by myself. Like I really enjoy that movie. It's like number two of my like all time favorite. I'm looking for this one movie, y'all. What's that movie? Jack breaks the internet or. Jake breaks the internet. Some shit about breaking the internet. <laughs> I watched that shit the other day. And it actually was an okay movie. Like, it was worth the watch. I liked it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rob breaks the internet. <coughs> Rob breaks the internet. Wreck it, Rob 2. <laughs> kind of like the Emoji movie a little bit, but... I can't even say which one better because I enjoy both of them. I know. I ain't, I'm a big ass kid. They ain't give me no. They ain't give me no paper towels or shit. Damn. Mm. I can't even open this. I'm so thirsty. Mouth off, hot sauce, hot pepper. No, mouth off, hot pepper, black pepper, lemon pepper. Extra, extra. I'm not hot too. It should be because mouth sauce ain't hot, but yeah, it has sauce to it. Well, I'm not hot with everything I eat that's hot, so. I'm a punk ass. I'm so thirsty. That was so good. Look, I can drink that shit in one swallow. Well, not one swallow, but you, you get what I mean. I know I'm gonna really drink this shit. That's why I brought some water. That shit's still like right here. Woo! Watch that shit down. Oh, seven pounds. What? Oh! All the Will Smith movies are great, so. Well, to me, I guess I'm kind of biased. Woo! Excuse me, guys. Sorry. I mean, that's what shit did make you, make you full, make you want to rub your belly and say, woo! All right. That's it, guys. Oh, one more movie. The Trap with Mike Epps. T.I. Um, Tiana Taylor. Lil Duval. All of them niggas. I mean, I ain't gonna call them niggas, but they are niggas shit. Whatever. And what do I say about that movie? <laughs> I did. It did take me two tries to watch it. And the first time I watched it, I was just like, what kind of terrible bush is this? Then the second time I watched it, it was it was pretty funny. Like my kid's a funny ass nigga, but the acting in it is like, it's like crying out terrible. Like my kid's probably was the best fucking actor in the whole entire movie, and that says a fucking lot. I mean, not really. I'm sorry, my kid's. You was a great actor, but y'all know what I mean. 